you know, unless you've got significant competing priorities in your life, um, then it's, you know, it makes a lot of sense to make make your cricket a, a priority. And you know, I would definitely advise guys to make cricket a priority and, and enjoy it because it happens. You know, I've played for 25 years, but you know, I'm three years out of it now, and it, and it's um, it feels like it's a blink of an eye. I started playing at scoring for the second. And they're all one day games, so it's 1943. I was mm. 11 when I played my first game. Mm. Northbourne seemed to be much a family uh, club. Mm. And it wasn't uncommon on a Saturday afternoon to, to see a lot of people down at the ground. And I caught the train from Chelsea to come up to Northbourne to score. And well, they were one short, mm. so I went in last. Mm. Mm. My first memory, yeah. playing with Charles Cohn. <laughs> trying out for the senior teams and finding it that I wasn't good enough. <laughs> and Michael Simons has established himself at Northbourne in the first and his brother David followed over and I followed David. My father was uh, playing down here and my two brothers were playing down here and I started in 1982 as an under 12 at age 7. So I was sort of 14 or 15 years old, my neighbour had taught me how to bat and bowl a little bit, um, he clearly didn't do that well came down when I was 20 years old because my cousin played here. I came along with my brother and uh, the rest is history. I lived in Northbourne, just moved into Northbourne, so uh, I came down and played. My sister's sister-in-law's husband, played by the name of Lindsay Gates, you can play in him. At that stage it was a cricket come baseball club. But he was nagging me, so we were short of players, when you play, and I kept on saying, you know, I've got better things to do, but eventually you got me. I've been here for you know probably 36, 38 years, and um, some of my best friends are from the uh, from the cricket club. Yeah, I think I played in the fifth or the fourth uh, down with Barry down at uh, STC. Seen the main oval actually. Yeah, and thinking I'd really like to play out there. And they sent me out as a raw recruit. This is my first game with Northbourne. Mm. Jack was opening the batting, and the first five balls, I think, bounced off the brickwork. My first date with Charles was when he was the uh, social secretary for the club, and uh, apparently I was last on the list. He'd already asked a few others, and he invited me to a trots night that he'd organised. Went past the bowl quicker than uh, anything he'd seen. The first game I played in 1950-51 season, I can remember my first game, I think it was done at uh, AYC. Oh, well, I got a surprise when I was made a life member, because oh. I did. <laughs> that was the biggest surprise. Mm. Barry Hodgson asked me to open the batting. I said, OK, I'll go. I'll, go. I'll do it. <laughs> I think it was a great level. Yeah. First memory, I remember playing juniors up on up on the top oval up here, McClay number five, and uh, Barry Hodgson picking us up in his orange minivan. First game I played, as I say, I made 40 not out. And I, I just, I was captain of this team at school, and I'd made a hundred at school, and at, at two weeks later I made a hundred in my first hundred in the second. Uh, I think I got about five, no, I got a six off my first ball, when I was dropped at find the way the bloke knocked it over the, the boundary, but uh, didn't get many more than that. And, and then I made the 40 not, 40 not out in the first, so mm. I was only 14. And I thought, how easy is this? The main one would have been the 19, 65-66 grand final where we won. I had the pleasure of being the captain and I made my first century. I got 133 in the final and we won it easily. Winning the premiership like the year before I retired. I won a flag in the, in the first. So pro probably, you know, my first game in the ones is a very memorable sort of occasion. So I found out very quickly because the next week we played Q. Mm. And a chap called Bob Holmes, who played a lot of games in their, in their first, mm. like the subject, that Holmes, had, Holmes and Son had, had a hardware shop down High Street Q. Mm. He, he brought me back there very quickly. Mm. Knocked me over twice for a pair. Ooh. So, you know, mm. make, uh, you know, so good. So that's why it's a great thing. Both clubs mean so much to me that I've had it written into my will 
but uh, my ashes will be scattered out there and down there. Uh, premierships, without a doubt. I was lucky enough to play in two. They'll never get rid of me. <laughs> the one that stands out was winning back-to-back -back premierships in 1999 and 2000. We used to go to barbecues and do the stances. And... Great honour when you look through the history of North Bourne, it's, it's a fantastic club. There were some very good cricketers. The standard was always retained fairly high mm -hmm. for the club. Yeah. Coaching the club was something very special for me. Um, being, being named as a, as a life member obviously was, um, was very humbling and special as well. Ken Cooper and I we made a life member on the same day mm. in 1961. The second year I won a premiership in the seconds and that was like one of my highlights so it was fantastic to turn it around in the second year. Recognised as a life member and someone who made a contribution worthy of that um, is, is a real thrill. Probably winning the third 11 premiership three years ago and having my son born on the same day. Winning the flag after you know 25, 25 seasons. And in 1969 Ken and I were made uh, the Dunstan, we got the Dunstan, Dunstan. Award, yep. which of course was for life members who continue to give great yeah. service. The year after I came, or the year prior, the first had won the A Turf Grand Final. And they, those guys talked about it and it was a real legacy. So being able to repeat that after 25 years was, was obviously uh, very special. Actually, quite a bit. Um, I, I think that it represents what I put into the club mm. and uh, represents some return out of that uh, association. Yeah. The good times were working with a group of people there, yeah. lot, made lots of lifetime friends, yeah. uh, the Pierces and the Watts and the Hopwoods and the Kerrs and, uh, and we had lots of great social functions. We used to go away mm -hmm. and um, just had a great time, yeah. families. Yeah. Yeah. Sporting clubs are probably one of the greatest things you can be involved in. To be given a life membership of a sporting club, it means it means everything to me. Well, it's special because I've brought my family up in this club. And this club means everything. It's given me an awful lot. I've given it something, but it's given me a lot in return. Enormous satisfaction and thrills. Look, I just like to do my bit, and yeah. and part of the time was getting really involved and giving 100 percent. Yeah. We had some great evenings just sitting out at night time after games, especially in the summers you know, at night time. It was wonderful, but the facilities what we've got now, uh, nothing to compare with what we had in those days. <laughs> well, it means a lot. It's, uh, it's recognition of, of, of service. Um, so you become a, uh, a part of a fairly select group. It's very special, actually, and um, uh, I guess it's nice to get some recognition. Um, I feel pretty privileged to be in the same uh, category as some of the other life members, people that put their heart and soul into the club. It's give you something to think about to uh, over your life, that you've done something that was worthwhile to be involved in an organisation like this. I know that whatever you do for the club, um, the, the guys that are coming through and the, you know, the next generation, they're the one that sort of benefit from all the work that you do and to see the club in such a strong position now is you know, probably uh, just a reward for everyone's work that they've put in. It's pretty awesome, especially as a woman and I have to be honest, I mean, I barely hit a ball. It's all been very special moments, it's hard to pick any one of those. It's the people and how much they put into the club and look I just love the fact that there's so many juniors running around. One thing that we've got going for us and, and always have since I've been here is our, is our set up in terms of juniors and um, the fact that we've got so many teams and we always have had more teams than most other clubs. When we were looking for the, um, uh, the funds to build this club rooms uh, we were uh, making the case to council and to others that North Bourne was uh, just about the biggest junior club uh, in Victoria, therefore one of the biggest junior clubs in Australia and because England doesn't have many junior clubs so therefore one of the biggest junior clubs in the world. The clubs have always had a fantastic culture. Um, the ability as in the last question to meet people and have so many close friends has been a big part of my life. There's a, there's a spot for everyone in the club whether you're a 
very young or very old or, or some, something in between. The club's still special to me because yeah. we're now earning my father played, I played, my sons played, my grandsons are playing. Mm. So we're fourth generation. Fourth genera uh, as I say, I always went with Jack. Yep. Used to take the kids and mm. pack up and go. Mm. Uh, because I don't think we'd, we'd have been sitting here 60 years later. Yeah. Some of the happiest times of my life down here and down on the baseball ground. It's just a real family club, really friendly. Um, and people sort of come and they stay because they really enjoy the atmosphere and, and the friends they make when they're here. The car just comes down here automatically on a Saturday. I just take it out of the garage and off it goes. <laughs> Sporting clubs are a brilliant from the point of view that, you know, you find yourself involved with a, a lot of people over a lot of years and, um, you know, the more you get to know them, the, the better time you have out on the field and, you know, you even have a, a much better time off the field, which is, you know, what it's all about. But, uh... It's like, really, we had some fun. I only play with the, the team, but socialise with them. I think that's important in your life. We just get there and enjoy it. Most people's sporting lives are very limited. You probably don't realise it so much at the time, but after you've been through life like I have uh, it means a lot to have friends uh, that you've played cricket with. I reckon if I could have given myself some advice when I was a much younger cricketer would have been to be more patient and to work harder. You know, there's a lot of untapped opportunities out there. You've got to never give up at all because every every action you do can influence the outcome of the game no matter how small um, I think that's something you learn the longer you play um, even in the face of adversity, adversity when you know the odds are against you just just never giving up you value every game you play because you never know when it's going to be your last for the younger guys try and get involved in the committee because it's, it's, a, it's a good thing and it's a good learning experience to be a part of something like that. You know, well, it's the word involvement that I think is important that um, people stay around the club and go down there and spend time around the club. If you can help out in some way with the administration by all means do so because uh, that will also give its own rewards. Uh, I think that get in and, and help out because uh, the more you put in the more you get out of, uh, of, of any situation in a club, club like this. Just cherish your time now in the moment that you're in now right? and also the longevity give something back to the club. You know the more you put into a club the more you'll get out of it and uh, North Horn's a pretty special club and um, I've been pretty happy to be involved in it for a long period of time. The more you put in more satisfaction you should get. Um, from a playing point of view, I just think um, just try and get the most out of your ability and your talents. Think about what you can do, uh, do something positive. It's not just winning matches, scoring centuries and everything, it's putting back something into the club and you will get a lot of satisfaction over the years. And you'll look back on, on your life, your lifetime and think, gee, if you quit early, You'll regret it, you will, but just give it back, that's all I can say. The more you put in, the more you get, and and the rewards that come with it, so I would just say, go for it. Get involved and be a part of it, because I think it's a great place to be. I'd encourage anyone to do it, just because it gives you a, a um, I guess, you get a sense of pride and you get to you get to have input in, into how the club is run and the way forward for the club. Make the most of the time that you've got down here. Well, as I say, you enjoy it, and the more runs you make, the more you enjoy it. Yeah.